This is the day WWE Total Divas hit an all-time low, and in fact, not just an all-time low, but the all-time low. The episode entitled Some Like It Hot comes in at a 6.3 on IMDb, which is honestly not that bad compared to some other garbage media I've seen before. The synopsis reads that this is one of the many vacation episodes with the group heading to Mexico. Paige also breaks the news that she's engaged while the Bella Twins learn they have a brand new sibling. Ooh. And so I imagine this is probably the episode where the JJ Bella arc finally ends. And so, you know, after years of treating our brother like a jabroni afterthought, we just decided let's just create a new sim. Let's just start a new save so we got a brand new sibling on the way <laughs> right Bray <laughs> yeah right Nicole and on a sadder note this is also the episode where the cast learns of the shocking passing of the American dream Dusty Rose and on a lighter much more pale British note Paige you're on fraud watch oh because gosh. this episode right here is pushing her tally up to two in the worst episodes ever I don't know man I'm just saying Yo quiero... I want you to do dirty things to me I should know that one. Uh. <laughs> and just like that, we are off to a hot start. The Spanish teachers are like, esta pera, esta loca. Ooh. I also don't know if trying to learn dirty talk from your Spanish teacher is a new level of down bad or actually kind of romantic. I want to embrace my nationality more. Yo quiero jugar contigo. There you go. I want to play with you. Who are you trying to attract, Chucky? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, John. I just want to play with you. Nicole, you know the house rules. House rule number 67 says, no speaking of the languages after 10 p.m. Quintate la camisa. I would love to. Pésame. Quintate la los pantalones. <laughs> this dude's just sat there so uncomfortable. Like, donde esta the door? I want to leave. I'm finna get out of here. Um, holy double Alabama slam. I tweeted that, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got almost nice. a thousand likes. Well, I gotta retweet that. I gotta yeah, retweet that. And then I'll get my people to retweet your people. What is this, a fucking Twitter advert? What was it, new to you all here? What the fuck is this? Also, Natalia, you devilish little icon, holy Alabama slam. I swear to God, it was ironic at first, but now I'm actually starting to really love Natalia. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Might I go ahead and say, Natalia, I'm loving the pink hair. I mean, goddamn, it makes me kind of want to dye my dreads pink a little bit. I mean, 4,000 likes and you got is it. Is there a chance I could hear that? Nah, you guys, you guys don't know how, you, nah. there's literally no freaking way that this video will hit 4,000 likes. These dreads are staying blonde, okay? They're not going pink. Unless. Just tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. Nata, you're amazing. I know. Well, who's excited? <laughs> I know. Us divas are on the road about 300 days a year, so when we get days off, that's a really big deal to us. Yeah, and sadly, due to the era that we're currently in, we only get about 300 seconds of TV time a year. You know, guys like Ryback are really taking up a lot of our time that we d deserve more than him, but who cares about that bald-headed fuck? Mexico! <laughs> All I can say, though, is when you walk away, I hope you do it slow, because I'm really looking at and liking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, is there something you need to tell us? Alright, Natalia, that's enough. That's enough. Horny bunk on your head. I mean, she's moving like me when it gets past 10 p.m. And I'm just like, I'm gonna tweet whatever the hell comes to my mind. Who gives a fuck? I... Not that I've tweeted anything crazy before. TJ has a tag team partner. His name is Cesaro. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. They are BFFs, which is bordering on, I think, both of them having a man crush on each other. You know, every time they have promo packages like this, I just think about that one suburban mom who randomly found the show. She has no idea what the hell's going on in wrestling, and she doesn't care. She's just like, oh, well, these guys are tag team champions. Good for them. Well, would you look at that? It's just odd. If I see TJ, I'll tell him that you're looking for him. I'll find him first anyway. <laughs> Listen, Natalia, I love you, but <laughs> Cesaro has cooked you on this occasion. He stole your man. Also, shout out to Tyson Kidd, man. Like, I think this would have been just a matter of weeks or months before he had to retire, right? I mean, sad as hell. But I'm real distracted right now, though, because who the hell is this Terry Balea looking man? Like, I know that's definitely not Hulk Hogan because there's way too much hair on his head top. By the way, here's a free Natalia reaction pick I guess you could use if anyone wants it. <laughs> It's so yeah, cute. So cute. You like it? Sometimes. Sometimes a little, a little yeah. too much. With all due respect. Yeah. You have to be sexy to be the bad guy. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen a man so mesmerized by the Yeah, Actually, you know what I have? Because this is exactly how locked in I am to Nikita Alliance matches. I'm like... 
Oh, is that a Fandango sighting I see? Let's hope even Marie isn't around in this episode. If you know, you know. Is your phone dead? Me and Bobby got the pluses. Oh, damn. But the problem is, I can't get into my Gmail account because I forgot the password. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hang on a second, is that fucking Layla? Am I going insane? Is that Layla? I thought she was gone from WWE by 2015. Was she? That's really fucked up. Not like deciding of Layla. She's great. I big Layla, big uh, Lay Cool guy actually. I like Lay Cool. However, I feel like this is one of those. You know, like on TikTok, there'll be those TikToks that pop up and it's like uh, ten facts that mess with your perception of time. This is one of them because why? 2015. These two, I'm telling you, together are like. <laughs> I'm really tired of feeling like the third wheel. Every time I try to talk to TJ, he's talking about Cesaro or he's talking to Cesaro. I mean, this is hilarious, but come on, Natalia, you know that it's bros before shop shooting, you know, uh. Oh, it's beautiful. So pretty. This is amazing. When you're Nikki Bella, you have to do it large. Apparently. Get a good photo off. Okay, get in there. No glades a little more together. It is just freaking amazing. Like this? Hi. Yo, I'm fed up falling to one of those Jimmy Uso trances right now. Those Jimmy Uso giot trances right now. So nice being here, right? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, Ooh. gracias, Papa. Thank Salud. you. Salud. Salud. Did, did did she just say salut? It's been a minute since I got my GCSE in French language, but is salut not a French hello and goodbye? Listen, Nikki, I love you, but I feel like you've been spending too much time accidentally flirting with the old Spanish teacher over there. You're fucking combining languages right now. You're becoming Bella Lingual. What the fuck's going on? Oh, gracias, papi. Salut. <laughs> the waiter turns around. He's like, bitch. That's two different languages. What the fuck are you talking about? My dad and I have always had a very on and off relationship. And right now, my dad and I aren't talking. There was a situation that happened when I was on my way to my grandmother's house. I decided to let my dad know. Hey, I have absolutely no time to see you. Don't take offense to it. I'm at a point in my life and I'm very busy that if you bust my balls, well then, I kind of give you the middle finger. So that's what I did. Fucking real, Brianna. Real. Holy did you know dad's having a baby? What? No, no, no joke. he's not. Anna's pregnant. Holy shit, this is a crazy way to find that out. Imagine, right, you're just randomly scrolling Instagram one day like, eh, okay, wood, okay. <laughs> that was funny. My dad's having a baby? I'm never gonna guess what happened. No. What? Good to Foxy and Trin isn't even with us. That's not the apple. Oh, that's what, on. What? Blamed on alcohol. They got in a freaking fight. Well, we can't, like... Wait, what? They're, like, arrested and being sent back to America. Oh, here we go again. It's time for another one of Paige's classic practical jokes. Bazinga. Bazinga. Except most of the time with Sheldon Cooper, it's playful and fun. With Paige, she will literally ruin your life and just say, Ha-ha, oh, cheerio. This is my house. I love the queen. Shut oh. up. And they're freaking going crazy. And me and Nate is trying to pull them apart. And then we're just like, we don't want to be involved. We need to go. Trend will not let it die. Wait, I am like blown away. Uh, I will say it's just a joke. They're outside. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Bitch. We're not hiding very well. Oh my God. Do you want a piggyback ride? Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't want to see your manky Keys? feet. Ugh. I told TJ I was going to send him some nice photos because he's been like legit so enamored with Cesaro. I'm afraid that my sex life is going to turn into TJ bringing a Swiss flag into the bedroom. Can you imagine Natalia and TJ are about to Canadian pile drive and then all of a sudden... It's... It's Cesaro! Tyson Kidd real nonchalant is like, oh, I don't know. I thought it would be cool. Like, we're, we're a tag team after all. I have an announcement to make. Uh-oh. What? Who cares? Oh my gosh, are you engaged? <laughs> no way. Uh, has hell freezed over? Yeah. Has hell freezed over? We might have to get Nicole an English teacher as well. Uh -huh. After Paige announces the engagement, Alicia Fox is a little concerned that she may be rushing into things with some guy named... <laughs> She expresses that no matter what, she's happy for Paige if she's serious, and Paige says she knows this is right. I know what I'm doing. I'm happy. 
I realized that he's the right one to me. And it's a very great up decision, so. Uh, LA Noir, X to doubt, X to doubt, X to doubt, X to doubt. Honestly, don't even remember who this Kevin guy is. Like, much like Evolution, it's a fucking mystery. <laughs> In order to get TJ's attention back to me, all the divas are on board to do something sexy for our guys. Look how big yeah, these yeah. are. And there is no better setting than beautiful Mexico. Oh, Natalia Bestie, me and you both know that if you ain't tag team gold or named Antonio Cesaro, he don't give a fuck. Yeah. Go ahead out there in a the thong. Might as well. Save some for me, Trent. Listen, Jimmy, you've been eating that cake for over a decade now, and we both know that there's a ton left. Does he know what sells tickets? Did you see Nikki Bella's cleavage? Yeah, Nikki Bella sets the bar for all of us. Apparently. You can bring it, you can cut it back a little bit. So I'm like. It's hard because your ass is so huge. <laughs> Natalia's killing me, dude. This might be her greatest run yet. Listen, I don't know what the fuck those ratings were talking about, but this shit is hitting right now. This shit's hitting like that KFC gravy. I should have known to not really trust the ratings on this episode. It was probably always going to be better than what the critics rated it. I mean, for God's sake, I don't know if any of you guys have seen uh, the critically acclaimed movie Shorts from like 2009, but that movie has a super low rating and that shit slaps so who gives a fuck about ratings Take it up. Martin, Martin, Martin. Oh. oh do we throw oh, money <laughs> Free money. Free <laughs> yeah let's fucking go also how dare you subjectify this man while he's just trying to do his job imagine if i did that with nikki bella's cleavage i mean for goodness sake it's lewd lascivious salacious outrageous apparently Daddy, fuck. i can't get this outfit wet i'm not wearing underwear Yeah, again, I'm really struggling to see how this is a low-rated episode. I mean, so far, this is just good vibes and comedy. I mean, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'd... Okay, I don't know if this song is copyrighted or not. I mean, it probably is. But someone is rapping over these highlights right now, and he said, quote, Girl, you so stone cold, you Steve Austin. What a fucking bar. This sexy photo shoot to be like nothing TJ's ever seen before. Just a reminder, I do have breasts. Huh. Really, Natalia Neidhart? I had not noticed that you had fucking breasts this whole time. Oh my gosh. Man, I just know that TJ had something to do with this. As the day began, TJ went ahead. He slipped a few dollars to old uh, Poseidon over there. He was like, make the waves extra fucky today, okay? I hate this bitch. So what if I have seaweed and seashells in my hair? Either way, they're going to get TJ's attention. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sure this will get his attention. What is this? The return of her farting gimmick? Ooh. Ah. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. TJ. Oh. My stomach hurts. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh. Sleep with me. My sister is so stubborn. She just wants to kind of stay at the mansion and get into Brimo. For kids of the 90s, they had Joey Tribbiani saying, London, baby. For kids like me, we have Brimo. I think it's because <laughs> I'm not sure what was more ridiculous than the fact she called her sister stupid or the fact bro only just realized they're sisters. Oh, those two are sisters? Were they born at a similar time? Dumbass. <laughs> for vacation does it not make you want to have a drink i mean it's getting me a little like i'm sorry i feel like i'm flirting with every man woman and animal that walks by because tj will not pay attention to me can you go to catering and just tell tj like hey i heard you have man crush monday with this one tj has a crush on me too <laughs> <laughs> oh god she's in her paranoid era now she can't believe that tj is catching that swiss sausage i know that tj is not sugar gate but she's basically gonna be starting a rumor that tj is in love with cesaro my god that's where they're going with this he likes chilling with the boys a little too much and now they're like he's sugar gay Martin, when you want to say like she wants it bad okay okay and how do i say i want her so bad as in i want poppy so bad it physically hurts okay back hold on brian i'm on the phone okay does this look okay though yes back. it does but i'm on the phone nikki i'm literally mid fucking cutscene right now will you shut the fuck but up Bree, i'm just asking does my hair look nikki i said shut the fuck up brian i bet you miss me so much i mean 
Wow. I look like a Latin ballerina. <laughs> Brian's like, Nikki, I'm gonna be straight up. I didn't even notice you left. Brian gives her advice in the form of, damn, that's crazy. You'll be safe though. And Brie goes on to talk about how time is short in life and Brian lost his father last year, etc. Where's your ring? Doesn't feel real. Because I don't have it on. Oh, I'm sure this is going to end well. I you do a white dress, dress with a black, um, the black ribbon. Remember what pink did? Oh, oh yeah. You just say fucking pink? Oh my God. Talk about artists I haven't heard mentioned in a fucking age. You come on then, come on then, raise your glass. What a banger. Oh man. Yeah, back in 2012 on my fucking iPhone 4S, that, that song used to go crazy, okay? Let me tell you. I just wanted to shut up. Here's to one penis for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the one penis for the rest of your life. Paige is like, oh no, well, when you put it bloody like that, I bloody can't believe that. And honestly, I understand. Like she said earlier, she's only 22. I, I get it. It would freak me out as well. Like one time somebody said to me, bro, bad bitches ain't gonna be bad forever. Look at the personality. And I said, damn, Brody, that shit's deep, bro. You might be onto something. But then I saw Anne Hathaway aging like some oat milk, never going out a day. And I said, you know what, Brody? Bad bitches are forever. I don't know what a page wedding would look like. I imagine a page wedding during this time specifically would just be aisles and aisles of goth women, okay? The red hair, the piercings, the tattoos, the Wampa Stomper 3000s, I... Or as it's known to me, heaven. I'm a little, what does it they say, white girl wasted? Yeah. Oh my oh. god! Look at Natalia, man. She's white girl wasted. She's having a great time. I love to see it. <laughs> So bad at twerking. Oh my gosh, it's the funniest and cutest thing I've ever seen. Bro, I'm so sorry, but why the fuck is Brie Bella twerking like Tina from Bob's Burgers? Like. Brie and Nikki are talking and Brie says that she'll always love her dad, but she needs a breather. Nikki then says that life is too short to take a breather from someone and Nikki doesn't want Brie to regret anything, which is fairly class, really. Nicole looking out for her Brie. A nice change from this chaotic episode. A nice change of pace. Kidding me? Oh my I'll deal with my relationship and my husband. I just want you to stay out of my business and don't post to me no more, okay? Oh, never mind. Drama's back. I don't think John should be upset if you're twerking amongst friends. If that makes you feel better, I will never post anything with your face on it again. It was technically a buff. Well, just saying. And thank you, Paige, for the most unhelpful comment of the year. Paige is my spirit animal, though. Like, I too love making unnecessary comments that are nothing to the conversation. We don't have to go out there and be strippers, but we also need to go out there and show fun energy. <laughs> really? Well, then you tell John to stop doing that warrior dance. <laughs> also, look at Bree's face. She's dead ass like, no, for real, Naomi, stop him doing the warrior dance, okay? I hate that gimmick. A couple of twins and a tag team, they're stealing from us, Nikkei. Stealing from us. Uh, hey, yeah. say, tell him I, I had little dirty and thoughts. And sticking his tongue. Oh. oh. Brett just sent me a text saying, Hunter just tweeted, Dusty Rhodes passed away. Sorry, I mean, it's damn for everybody. Dusty Rhodes just passed away. He was, for a lot of people, like a father figure. Man, I feel this one big time. Like, this is genuinely one of the saddest deaths in professional wrestling history. Like, I know I joke around a lot and there's always, like, some kind of punchline, but just to be real for a second, super heartbreaking. Super heartbreaking on so many levels. Yeah, we yeah. just found out one of, someone who we work with. He was, like, one of our mentors passed away. Oh, wow. Daddy, that's what we call him. Hang on, you used to call him... D d He worked with them. He worked like hard for everyone. He helped me in FCW because Bill and that was trying to change me. And be like, you need to like dye your hair like you need to wear color. And he's like, nah, f that baby. You you stand out. You're my girl with the dragon tattoo. He's like, you're my princess. Oh. Uh, I'm not crying. Uh, there's a lot of pollen in the air. It's hay fever season. If you were a broken toy who had some kind of issues or wasn't the full package, he wanted to fix you, shine you up, and send you on your way. He was the most amazing human being you could ever meet. Oh, it's okay, Natty. <laughs> Shout out to the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, man. Forever in our hearts, forever indelibly marked in the legacy of NXT, my favorite promotion of all time. Shout out to the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, baby. Also, by the way, one of the greatest theme songs of all time. I feel like I'm with amazing people, and it just made me realize that you do have to cherish your relationships, because at any moment they can be gone. You know, this is just how life is sometimes. I sometimes you go ahead, you wake up in Brie mode, but you go to sleep in deep mode. Y'all stay woke now.
I has not stopped talking about TJ and Cesaro. It's so annoying. So I feel like I should have a little bit of fun with this. Oh, oh shit. shit. Here we go again. What kind of devious scheme is Paige about to hatch upon this episode of The Commonwealth starring Paige and Natalia? Do you think TJ is gay? Sorry. Gay! <laughs> TJ. Who the fuck just said Tige? Can you imagine Tyson kids walking into a WWE show and someone from the random uh, assortment of fans outside is like, Hey, yo, Tige! And he turns around and he's like, Hey, yo, who the fuck said Tige? I don't know. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, it's probably a good thing because when you get married to a gay guy, you get to have fun on the side and he can take you shopping. He's not, TJ's not sugar gay. <laughs> just think about it. Though. No, that's, that's just gay. I was just asking about it. That's where you cross the line because you can't keep your mouth shut. Why? Paige, shut up. He's not sugar Tige. He's not sugar Sugar T gay. He's not sugar T gay, you British bitch. Paige, why don't you tell TJ to his face that you think that he and Cesaro are in a relationship? All right. Okay, why the fuck did Natalia have the phone to her ear like that anyway? She was holding it like, TJ, are you T gay? Is that true? Is it true what they're saying? And also, how the fuck is she gonna go ahead and straight away get up from the conversation and just call TJ? It's kind of like when you're in San Denis and you're antagonizing the strangers a lot, and then all of a sudden a woman's like, I'm gonna go get the law on you. All I did was ask the question if you liked Cesaro or not. That's all I asked. Yeah, of course I like Cesaro. He's a strong gay, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, but. Yeah, Cesaro, clean and jerk 135 with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to, like, tagging partners in the ring, he's, like, probably the best I've ever had. Best you've ever had? I mean, just the way his little, his dreamy, bulging biceps and his, his little cute cappuccinos he posts on Instagram and the way he uppercuts my ass. And you're telling me that Cesaro's the best you've ever had? <laughs> Ask him if he pounds him. Paige is uh, genuinely unhinged. I love her. Hey, I know TJ's not sugar gay. But just be careful what you say in front of strangers because they could misinterpret it into something else. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'd be letting Paige reverse this back on me. She started this whole mess and now she's like, Natalia, just maybe think next time you act all crazy and how your actions affect others. You know what I mean? But it is time for everyone to move on. And if you have a man crush Monday, who cares? Good, good. Now I feel proud to go ahead and say that my man crush Monday is Antonio. Antonio Cesaro. TJ. TJ. Okay. This couldn't have been a better surprise because now I'm really feeling the culture. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not see this ending coming at all. Would I really live with myself if something happened to my dad and I wasn't talking to him? It makes you wake up a little bit. Can we all jump in the pool? <laughs> Wait a minute, that pool seemed shallow as shit. The way Natalia jumped in there and then sprung back up as if she was on one of those Sonic the Hedgehog jump pads. Like, like imagine Natalia jumps in the pool, she's like, yay! <laughs> oh, fuck my knee. Oh, God. Oh, TJ's gay. I hate this. TJ. TJ. Happy, happy TJ. I respect his opinion and what he thinks about me, but we both have to find a median because I should have a say so in my career and what I wear and what I look like too. I agree with that. Like husbands telling their wives what they can and can't do. What is this, the fucking 1800s? Naomi, if you want to be proud of them cheeks that you have, then I say, why not let it fly? I don't know, <laughs> I'm not really thinking about it. Hours. Yeah. Brie has her wedding planner already in touch with. Ooh, let's do it in San Diego, the bridal shower. Yes, yes. You have to plan that and let me take care of the flowers. Let Brie take care of the baby shower. The baby shower. <laughs> I'm just joking. Natalia's all like, <laughs> Brie can plan your baby shower. Are you showing? What was the last time you had sex? Are you pregnant? I already really said yes because I don't want to lose Kevin. I don't want to get married. Oh, fuck. They got me with a to be continued. No.